basically just put this shampoo, the purple shampoo, in your hair while it's dry. So you use it kind of like a mask on your dry hair and it tones it without processing it. It really works. She came into my office the other day and was like, like, yeah, I used to work at a beauty supply store. That's how I know about the purple shampoo with Rach. I'm like, I had no idea what the heck she was talking about. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah. Oh. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. I know you don't care about my purple shampoo, so I don't, I don't let you in on the deets of my hair routine. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Update. 727, just got the ring notification. They're on the way. On the way to preschool. Are you not gonna look at them? I'm gonna look at them. I'm driving. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they got their new outfits on. Cute. Don't know. I'm just gonna get naked. Hello, one of my old friend. Juan. They don't have a like, little dressing room in here. Mm -mm. No. Last time. Okay. 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 I'll let you take your pants off. Okay. I'll just film above. Turn yeah. the waist up. Yeah. Go. Go ahead. Kitty. <laughs> so, orders are. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Keep it guarded. I'm telling everybody. Because there's still a chance. There's How many are there? There's, there's two. <laughs> there's two. There's not three. No, there's two. A is much bigger than B. It's kind of exactly how Bear and Lindell were mm -hmm. at this point. And, wow. wow. Whoa. We've got you two. You expected this. Of course I did. Why wouldn't it? I, I was about 50-50 in my mind. Two genetically normal embryos. A super host. There was no oh, doubt, no doubt in my mind. Gosh. It's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> oh man! People are gonna think we are absolutely out of our minds. Well, they are not wrong. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I shaved. I don't know. I think I slept on my hair wet <laughs> since the last one. Honey, you look tired. Did you oh, just wake up? Gosh. <laughs> That's what the guy at the Taco Bell drive through said. So charming. Obviously, this is Brad and Rach from the future. Actually, this will go live tomorrow, so. Hey, hey. We're actually in the past now by about 12 hours. Exactly. Anyway, so we didn't really do a recap of like what went down and our feelings and all that good stuff. Right, it just kind of ended. And I didn't realize that until I edited that vlog today. Right. While I was on bed rest. Spoiler alert, I'm on bed rest right now. Surprise, it's twins. <laughs> Surprise, it's twins is right. Yeah, I couldn't be more excited. Me neither, that's for sure. I would have been very sad and felt like we had suffered a loss while celebrating the fact, you know, if there was just one. Mm. It would have been a tough place to be. Yeah, I really feel for all the couples that transfer two embryos and then Oh, you know, only one takes. Or transfer one and it doesn't take. Yeah. Yeah, that would very much feel like a loss. For sure. That's kind of something that we really talked about. Like when we we, we did our first IVF uh, cycle and transfer and it was successful and we got twins. It's like you kind of have this remorse for like how did we get lucky mm -hmm. and everything went perfectly when there's other couples that have done this six times and still no pregnancy. Yeah, or sometimes no embryos even. Right, yeah, exactly. It'd yeah. be heartbreaking. It's like survivor, survivor's guilt, I think. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like all that money and all those shots. injections and yeah. time. Ugh. So we really feel for you guys. And getting your hopes up and thinking this is going to be the time, I'm. that's just got to be so traumatic. And that's kind of what infuriates me even more about our clinic. <laughs> yeah. You'll, we'll get to that later, but... Yeah, so it was a big day finding out. And and it was interesting because our doctor is very guarded about the potential for both 
he won't even call them a baby for both fetuses to continue to grow at an appropriate rate. Very guarded. He said, don't tell anybody. Don't go <laughs> buy two baby carriages. It's like, okay, we're going to tell probably in the neighborhood of 100,000 people, <laughs> like tomorrow. <laughs> I guess this would be a good time to plug our Instagram if you're not on there. If you are if you have an account on Instagram, we're just at Brad and Rage. Well, we need to do a couple of shorts on YouTube. We we're going to do that as well. Yes. So we'll do that as well. So... Um, but I couldn't be less shocked that both embryos took. I just knew it was going to happen the whole time. I guess it was because when our doctor Slowey said it's two girls, instantly in my mind, our family, we had a family of seven. And it was, it felt complete. Yeah. Weird. I know. So you can't imagine now anything less. Right. Exactly. Wow. That's deep. Isn't it? <laughs> it isn't it weird? Like if you were thinking if you think back to how you pictured your family before we were married or before we even started like trying for kids mm -hmm. i never ever would have thought five not in a million years i thought one maybe two two and then my brother had his third child and i was thinking man he is crazy they're having another kid <laughs> <laughs> we caught up with them in no time. Yes. In about 20 months. And then passed them like it was nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Isn't it? I've heard the saying, or like the phrase, <laughs> having your third kid is like swimming, or no, it's like drowning and then someone hands you a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, Accurate. I didn't feel that way at all with Eloise. No. We'll, we'll see what happens these next two. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I just feel like we we are so fresh on the newborn and the toddler stages that i just feel like it's gonna we're just it's gonna fall into sync everything's gonna come into place well it will because it has to we it don't have any to. other choice i know i guess that's like when people are like i don't know how you did it with twins you just have you don't have any other choice right. you just do exactly and with the twins we didn't know any different and i don't know it's just We'll just do it and it'll be fine. Um, mm -hmm. I was worried when we had Eloise too that I wouldn't have enough time to spend with the twins. I really feel like, especially if you're looking for quality moments over quantity, you can spend a lot of time with a child and not have any quality interaction. Right. But I feel like I've learned to hone in on those quality moments that you can have. You can have one-on-one -on -one time with each of the kids even if you're the only one here with them, most days. There's definitely days where it's hard, but I feel like in the last year we've learned that balance and we can continue that. Yeah, I think that's a great point. Thanks. Well, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out why the heck Rachel is on bed rest, what happened there, and then obviously going forward. What, what the heck's going to happen? Because we don't even know. We don't. All right. All right. We'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.